All right. Hello? Yeah, there we go. Hey, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Um, just fix that. There we go. Awesome. Uh, last time we fought the 16-pounder, the giant cannon, which went really well. Um, it was a bit awkward at first because I did bring a, um, I did bring a arbalist. I think I brought Zaligoth with us. But the only unfortunate thing is if you kill everything else, she can't actually hit it with sniper shot because it's only one, like, it's, it's it takes up one space. It's not like a large creature. So we had to sort of do the last bit of the game with, like, a dude in front of the cannon so that we could actually hit it with sniper shot. It was a little bit weird, but it worked out in the end. Anywho, um, I have basically everything set up. I just wanted to check something. It's like... It seems like, I mean, we could upgrade stuff just for the hell of it, really. Look, that's all upgraded. That's all upgraded. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's all upgraded. The stagecoach is completely upgraded. So basically, the only thing that needs upgrades are the tavern and uh, the abbey and the nomads. And the survivalist, I think, has one left. And honestly, I think the nomad wagon is something we should go towards. Rarities yeah. and curios. Sold at a profit. The difference in cost in this is probably like a hundred, so I mean it adds up after a while, but so yeah, when we go out, um we we don't need deeds at all, like anymore. So we don't need to even collect these. Um busts, portraits, and crests are what we're looking for. You know, if we feel like it. However, most of the time we are going to go for gold. Anywho, we need to level up the cove so that we can actually fight the last version of the Drowned Crew. Um, so we need to do a few missions. So, I'm bringing around a few people. Summary Guy, the Dirty Pony, Cavalier, and Watu. And so we got our basic trinkets there. I've done the Musket Ball and Eldritch Slayer's Ring so she does a ton of damage. Uh, for Dirty Pony, what I did was, I don't want to rely on him transforming all the time. So instead, I put the Padlock of Transference, so that his stun skill is a lot better, and so is his Blight. Uh, and Eldritch Slayers, because we're going to the Cove. And then uh, for Samari Guy, I did an Eldritch Slayers Ring in the Ancestor's Pen. So, this should be pretty damn awesome. However, let me just take a look here, actually. That's better. All right, let's head in. Now these guys, these guys are a little bit weaker and she's a little bit stronger. She's so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. But I don't I don't expect too much like weird stuff to happen really. It should be just a simple mission of, you know, we go and kick some ass and then we do another mission essentially. Um, we could probably do with two less medicinal herbs. I'll take one more, maybe. Uh, we definitely want bandages, because, well, friggin' A, that guy that pinches you is nasty. And two holy water, just in case. But yeah, I think, uh, money is an issue right now, because we've been doing a lot of, uh, negative quirk removal, and positive quirks, uh, being locked in. So we've been spending a lot of money that way. Oh my gosh, we already have a freaking holy shit. Okay. We got a surprise. That's good. Okay. I think the idea here is we take him out right away. Hopefully he can stun the crab. Yes. Awesome. And then hopefully... Great. Now we just have to worry about him. I'm not sure if we can keep up the stun, but that'd be fantastic. Alright, we're gonna mark him for death. He also gets a minus 15% debuff protection. Now, what's more worth... Wow, really? 6 to 14? Holy shit! 
I was I was thinking we we're gonna have to do poison dart, but I guess since his his mark actually minus his protection, it, it does fantastic shit. Um, let's base for that. One ten plus another forty from that. Forty plus. Okay, so it's fairly low. Um, I'm probably gonna go beast's bile here. Nice. Eight points is nasty. Spit almond again. Okay, bandage. And there we go. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Sweet. Right away. Woot! Freaking, that's crazy. Oh no! How did you become. Oh, you're obsessed with food. Aha. You're also anemic, which isn't the best in this area. I have to uh, fix that. It's all these damn compulsive people. I lose a lot of money because of them. There we go. Yeah, we'll eat. Alright, so we got some... a battle ahead. Rust seems straightforward, so we won't have to do any backtracking or anything like that. Because it's a straight line from here on out. That uses... oh gosh... Anti-Venom? I'm pretty sure, something like that. Wow, okay, that's really nice, actually. Ooh, shit. Good, we got a surprise, despite the fact that it, my torch went down. Uh, let's see here. Probably want to stun this guy if possible. Wow, and a crit stun at that. Which actually does a significant amount of damage. I'm gonna finish him. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. And then hope it won't do enough damage unless I can get a crit on it. Not gonna do enough, so we are gonna get... Well, actually... Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. The enemy we just have to worry about these two guys now. Get rid of the stressors immediately. How quickly the tide turns. Ooh. Okay, that got nasty fast. Can you stop? Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Well, shit. Okay, let's see if we can get a few heals out. We desperately need them. Here's some stress. Unfortunately, he has a mortality debuff. But hey. He could be dead. So there's that. Oh boy. Another mariner. Another shipwreck. Alright, now this is either a shrine or one of the things we have to cleanse. Oh, it's both. Okay, we have a fight. Now these are people, so we won't do significant amount of damage to them. Which sucks. I'm gonna throw up on them. Sweet. What 
do a little extra damage to him. Because I'm not a fan. Good resist. Nobody needs healing that badly. Sweet. She resisted the bleed and she's anemic. That's like something you don't see every day. Right, now we just have this dude. I'm gonna stack the blight. I'm gonna mark him. Ooh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Party heal. Actually, doesn't her. No, it's not her knife throw. Yeah, it is her knife throw. It actually does more damage versus marked targets. I had no idea. There's like a, some new things. Well, I say new. I've been playing the game for forever, but like. New as in since the game's been actually released. It's a very odd thing. Oh, he's dead next turn. Cursed champion falls. Citrin. There's a lot of dungeon to go. I can't just get rid of food. I'm going to say no to the citron. It's not good enough. scouting. So anything could be in this hallway. Great. Crate's empty. Ooh, raise that the torchlight. Light, the promise of safety. Nothing. Oh boy, one of these. Oh no. That's awful. Call the Deep is so crazy. If Call the Deep was a move I could use, I would use that buff all the time. It's great. Well, he's dead. So that helps. Stun? Ooh, he resisted. I'm gonna mark him. He resisted the debuff, which is kinda nasty. I'm gonna try for the stun. She crit him. Nice! That's like really difficult to do considering. Um. Hmm. He's a lot of stun resist. I'm gonna go for it again. Resist it. You know what? His protection's still up, isn't it? It's a bit of a pain. Gosh, that is such a nasty attack. Nice. The beast, the greater the glory. No arterial pinch. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Hmm. I'm gonna say screw the holy water. There's very few times where you actually get to use that anyway. Alright. What kind of buff? Oh, you've stun resist from that last turn. It's like, what the hell is that all about? Oh yeah, we don't need deeds at all. In Radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Well, this is a bit nasty. Okay. Not quite. Try to stun him. Nice. 
decisive Excellent. Bubbling. Okay, cool. Just have to worry about this guy now. I think this will be worth it early on. Sweet. Mark him and hopefully get the debuff. Nice. So he'll take a lot more damage now. Keep adding that light. Excellent. bleed. Now then. Oh, she rolled low on that one. Okay, we gotta bandage you up, because we can't have that. I could have healed too, but now he's getting hurt for 10 damage per turn, which is awesome. In fact, he's dead next turn. Really? What an asshole. You try to stall a little. Only healed for two. Good stuff. Size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. All right, I think we've got to get rid of the busts. Take the emerald. It's probably the best in the situation. Sure. We're almost out of bandages already. Nothing ahead of us. Stashed heirlooms, don't care about deeds. And what do we got? 170, 130, holy shit. That helps. I'll worry about torchlight once we get over here. Alright, got more inventory space. Torchlight goes down, you actually get more stuff, which is cool. No scout. More torches. Uh, who doesn't have a good thing? Get our grave robber something cool. Steady. Yes, that is fantastic. I love steady. That's great. Oh, good dodge. I like that we can dodge traps. Okay. Pretty nasty battle, but we surprised them. I like our surprise chance. It's definitely freaking awesome. Excellent. I was hoping we could get away with that. Uh, we're gonna risk this. Stun him. Use finish him because it'll do more damage. Because he's stunned. And then focus him down. With hopefully a stun. Nope. But hey, it gives more torch light. Okay, that's bad. I mean, worse things could happen, but that's pretty bad. Mark for death. Good, the debuff worked. And then we'll just keep beating him down. Good resist. For being anemic, 
You have some excellent bleed resist. There we go. Thank goodness. Uh, we gotta move him forward. use a heal. Hey, Carrot, how's it going? Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try it. See if I can stun him. Nah, he resisted. But hey, the extra bit of damage probably helps kill that guy. The turning point. We're just doing a few cove missions so that we can eventually As victories uh, go ahead and so fight the last version of the drowned crew. I kind of need crests, though. I'm going to say the on will probably get more gold and will not a lot of onyx. Oh gosh. Look at all your kappa emails. Alright, let's see. I have to move him forward. All right, more crests, sure. Why not? I'm not missing anything because I've this place is linear. Oh, that's no problem. All right, who's got the best bleed resist? Uh, Eighty-three, fifty. You have like 60 and you have 80. Okay, so you have the highest bleed resist. Or not. Or you could just fail me miserably. We don't have that much to go, really. Redeem yourself. Okay, good. At least you resisted it this time. As the gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Well, that's the collector. I think in times of desperation, this is probably the best thing to do. Whatevs. Uh, let's see, I can't reach him. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna mark him. Sweet. This should do a lot of damage then. That's net. That's nice. That's real nice. Headhunt can be kind of nasty, especially if we go get those bleeds to stack. Kill one. I got you. I'm just saying, there's only one path to go. It's it's a linear path. Clear the board, I guess. Well, probably should have kept some alive because now our time's wasted. Good old algebra shit. Right. Good stuff. My favorite. Oof. I hate that bitch. That bitch needs to die. Oh, and he protected him. That sucks. That sucks real hard. Good. Uh, 
Damn, he really likes his collect call. I'm not a fan. How can a spine dodge? I mean, if you think about it, it's a lot less mass than an actual full human being, so, you know, there's, there's that. Uh, probably flashing daggers at this point. Just to do some damage across. Nice, the guard wore off. And he's guarding someone very insignificant, so that helps out. Sick shit, my friend. Sick shit. Alright, we're gonna have to do some heals. That's a bad lifesteal, holy shit. We need to mark him again. I'd rather keep weak-ass dudes on the board as opposed to, like, starting to kill them and, like, you know, have that weird shit going on. Although it seems like we're just gonna go ahead here and... Actually, can we rage all the way in the back? now? I can only do this. Which is alright. Plus, his damage is friggin' buffed to hell right now. Thirty-two crit, hell yeah, that's what we needed. I can't fucking reach him. I guess I could do finish him. I want to get the marked uh, buff that you get, or the marked uh, extra damage. Or okay. heal. Dagger. Oh, well, he's really close to death now. Can I rage? Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, he's got extra protection. I was wondering what the hell was going on there. I love that the whole mission, like, this dude's had a mortality debuff. The best. There we go. Rage! Ooh, I need, uh, extra space for the puzzling traps that he drew. There we go. Get rid of one bandage. We still haven't even camped yet. Oh, there's our, our objective right there. Okay. We're gonna do this. Yeah, I know, care. It's it's the weather's just ridiculous. It's it's crazy. We're supposed to have snow on on Friday. And it's going to be 60 on Thursday. Like how the hell does that even work? Doesn't matter too much. Oh gosh, the crit. <laughs> now we have all these corpses. Good stuff. Well, now she's back where she needs to be. Crit to 27, though. That's good. Oh wow, we got a tough ring from These that battle. Creatures can be That's felled. super can rare. Be Holy shit. I mean, it's just rare to get a trinket from a battle in general. Um, I'm gonna say, fuck the shovel. 
take the tough ring. We could have actually got a lot of citron on this quest. We're going to continue adventuring, see what else we can get. Alright. We got stuff. This isn't bad at all. Good resists. Nice crit. And power. 28 crit heal. He resisted the stun. Nice crit. It's trying to brine me. Does it have any other move than... No, it just has brine. I was wondering. Not quite. Although I can just do this. Which is nice. Yeah, uh, some of the things that they say are really great, like, um, oh, did that sting is one of them. The Grave Robber have some really good quotes. They're very zingy. Ew. Really Don't crit me. Break. Stop it. Horrible slug bastard. There we go. Seize this momentum. Push on to the Damn, we we, we would have gotten so much citron if we actually had space for it this round. It's crazy. Um, you don't need to eat the thing. Oh my gosh, look at his resistances because he just compulsively got both of them. Um what is making you do that? Is it intense craving for alcohol? That makes no sense. Literally no sense. Okay, well we'll camp in here to do some stress relief. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. A rat in a maze. Do some stress. Like, we literally just want to leave. So we'll do Sanctuary. And then... Chance. The match is We're done. A blazing star is born. But it was a jellyfish. <laughs> it's true, though. Holy shit, 16,000. Ooh, it looks like Wawatu got a disease. Alright, some army guy is hard skinned. That is awesome. And Wawatu got the runs. Probably one of the worst diseases. Can you feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplanned right. dimension Wawatu. of delirium are tenuously thin. Get rid of the runs. Alright, let's just see what kind of mission we're gonna go on before we actually say, like, who's. This is who we're putting away and whatever. Okay, so we've got a Cove mission for Immunity Mask, for the Berserker's Mask, or for the Focus Ring. Um. I mean, they're both medium missions. Actually, they're all medium missions. It's just, do I want... I probably want more gold, so I'll go for a, one of those missions instead. Um, is Turn God Jr. still in church? No, no, you... you we've been... We've brought you on a couple missions, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't think anybody's... Let's see, where are you? Yeah, you're fine. You're the mankind hater. Remember? <laughs> Your dude's crazy. 
We uh we used him during the uh that crazy battle against um the 16 pounder and you friggin' owned face with some of your smiting shots. It's ridiculous. All right, we've got to get rid of some uh compulsory stuff and we have to lock in some other skills. Like we definitely want to lock in what was it? Steady. Lock that in. Some army guy. We want to lock in hard skinned. She is tough and steady, which is so friggin' crazy. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can do here. Flagellant, Fear of the Unholy. Fear of the Unholy is kinda nasty. Stress Eater. Ooh, tough. Alright, tough and... Let's go with that. Because we don't have a lot of, uh, stuff to work with here. So that should be good. Alright, so it's either three Ancestors Relics. We'll probably go with this one, com uh, uh, complete 90% of rooms, because I would like to have as much free inventory as possible. Now, the Drowned Crew, I'm probably going to bring a different kind of party along, because they are unholy, and because the, the, the fight's pretty straightforward. You just have to make sure you defeat the Anchorman... Uh, and the, the thing's three wide, so, like, you, you can't freaking miss it. So we're probably going to bring our normal people along with us on this mission. So we'll do a standard Wild George, uh, Bacora, uh, who's better here? Tunnel Snake or Philly the Sin? You're steady, so you take less stress damage. You only have Quick Draw. The quick draw sometimes messes you up, so I'm actually going to go with Philly the Synth on this mission. And then basically I, whoever is best in the cove when it comes to um, healers, or at least second best. <laughs> yes, you agree? Okay, George. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, that's what? More range damage and hard skinned. Turing God Jr., you're the man-hater. You don't exactly work out here. Probably want to save Mansell for a different mission. How's Creeper? Creeper's ev evasive and robust. Let's bring Creeper along. Having an evasive healer is pretty sweet. Alright, so let's go with this then. Uh, let's see. Standard fare for this. You don't even know what you agreed to? Okay, awesome. Alright, Philly the Synth, Blasphemous Vial, and the Witch's Vial. Uh, Wild George. Now, it's, it's so weird. For some reason, at least in champion missions, I have found that, like, these guys desperately need accuracy. And it's the weirdest thing in the world. Like, you wouldn't think, like, with some stuff... What? Hopes and dreams. Uh, let's see here. So... I guess this is my thought. He's he's definitely going to be the debuff guy. Because he always is. So we need that debuff trinket wherever it may be. There it is. Debuff trinket. And... I think what we're going to do is we're going to give him accuracy, so we'll give him the Sun Ring. And then we'll give Bakora the Ancestor Signet Ring to give her more protection and accuracy. Oh, we're leveling up the Cove right now, and Poplar Carrot's doing some weird stuff. And I want to do Ancestor's Pen. But at the same time, a 20% like increase in stress is kind of nasty. Hmm. Oh, did it? <laughs> the only other thing I might do is surgical gloves for more melee. You know what? Fuck it. Go all the way or go home, right? 
We want more damage, so take the damn pen. And I think they all have the right skills that they need. And they're pretty much all upgraded, so let's let's head out. Champion mission, so I always buy all the food. This is a collection mission, so I will bring stuff. And... That should do. Okay, cool. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Right, so we'll get ahead this way first. Oh, fuck, she has kleptomaniac. Oh! One of the weaknesses of this party is that they're really bad at scouting. Um, wow, so we only have one, two, possibly three, four, five, six battles in this whole place. Oh, it, it, that one we couldn't see because we didn't have the map, I guess, during that time? Or maybe the map's being selective and it's not showing me what I want to see. <laughs> Done. That's awful. How did they go? Uh, I guess they have nine speed. It's pretty bad. <sighs> really? Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Done it. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, let's see here. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Wow, Crypt the Thirty Three is nice. Destroy them all. We don't need a scout anymore. It has been revealed to us everything. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. I think probably blinding gas is the best because I do not want to move this guy actually. Okay, good. We don't have a fight for a long time. I'm not sure if I want to break through though. I do want to kill him. Decisive pummeling. 21 crit with 4 damage bleed. He's dead next turn. Definitely debuff these guys because I hate them. He's still hit for an F ton. Oh, really? That was your friend, not you? It's pretty funny. Alright, let's see here. That works. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I can't stun him. I can blight him. Blight him for six, which is nice. Still nasty. Oh, come on, I give you fucking accuracy trinkets. 
Seriously, these guys sometimes, like, they need a lot. Alright, he's gonna die for the light. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. You dumb bitch, I hate you. <sighs> it's even worse than compulsive because you don't even get the loot that they compulsively take away from you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna suck down this coral bitch. Yeah! You're not taking shit from me again. That was random chance, by the way. That could have been any of these, and it took away Kleptomaniac. Oh, oh, oh. oh, showed that bitch good. You can't steal shit from me. I will take you some purifying coral and shove it in your face with some medicinal herbs and just rub it right in there. All spiny and digging in your flesh and shit. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Alright, let's see. <laughs> um, a couple of them have increased stress. She's prone to investigating the dark arts. And she's a stress eater. She's also prone to investigating the dark arts. Wait, what? Uh, okay, popular carrot, no problem. Uh, let's see, known cheat, guilty conscience, fear of beasts. Alright, well, let's try to get rid of a negative quirk on you. Hero mania quirk removed, I don't even know what that is. 120, 110, 120. Good. Two battles coming up. I love that the whole freaking map is unlocked for us right now. It's the friggin' best. Alright, this isn't too bad at all. Especially since we got the surprise. Good. Starting off with a debuff is real nice. Do a little extra damage to that fish dude, because he's awful. <laughs> nice! You gotta like it when they hit you for two. Good shit. Might be worrisome. I wish they'd stop, like... No, the RNG just seems to be really bad when they select who to target for uh, stress. It's like, oh yeah, this person who has all the stress. Let's just continue to just take that person down. Good. They should do bullshit at this point. Let's take you down a little. Can't even hit me because his accuracy is so low. Um, let's heal. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Good, they're both blighted now. Not gonna break through though. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I still think a crit any less than Less any crit less than ten shouldn't actually count. I'm gonna try to get another turn out of this. Just get a heal up. Actually, he'll he'll die next turn. I'm gonna purge him. Waka! Oh, it didn't kill him. Unnecessary overkill. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. 
Um, oh yeah, how many things do we have to use? So we need three shovels. So we can use this shovel to open this chest. Sweet. So I can't throw away any more shovels. It's a bad two stressor party, damn. That's pretty nasty. Stun the back. I need I need um my plague doctors to be faster. Oh, not quite. Right, we need to debuff. Good. The debuff's real nice. Alright, you gotta heal up Wild George. Sweet. Keep the back stunned. Good. Crit heal. More debuffs. Sweet. Blinding gas again. Good. More debuffs! Cause more! You gotta like it when a C word slash is five. Yeah. This is probably one of my favorite parties. Again, a nice crit heal. A powerful blow. And, and good just crit in general. That's awesome. Let's start blighting. Just make it a little bit easier to kill some people. Nice, he'll die next turn. Good dodge. And we're good. Um, I'll just party heal to bring everybody up to the top. Critting like crazy. All right. Success hmm. so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? Oh, hey, we have an extra shovel. How the hell did that happen? Cool. <laughs> that was weird. And we don't need deeds. All right, then we have to do a big walk back. Unfortunately. have to watch out for if anything pops up in the hallway. The food might be an issue too, but we'll see. Really? Was that hallway that stressful? Find victory. Okay, so the torch seems to go down one for every square. Gosh. I remember yesterday we had a mission where it was uh, one of those collecting missions. Or, yeah, I think it was a collecting mission. And, uh, it was too funny. Because we had to... We had to get to this certain point where, like, all the way across the map, and we're like, well, where the hell is it? And we're wondering, like, where this one location is for some, like, artifact. And we realized it was, like, all the way at the beginning of the game. Like, at the beginning of where we started. It was awful. 
ancient that's what these little herbs are for because that's an awful thing unsprung and thirsting for blood actually we may have we probably didn't need to do that I mean we would have passed a lot of squares before then I'm not sure if 20 would have done it but we passed a lot of squares all right here's one of the shovels we need another mariner another misfortune Probably gonna full clear this area. If things go well, it's always a possibility. However, that frightens the shit out of me because this is one of my favorite teams. And I would hate to see them die to the Shambler. So the Sun Ring wouldn't be effective. Basically, he's the only one with the Sun Trinket. Like, if, if we do the Shambler thing. We know it's there if we if we feel like we're up to the challenge. Now, what is it we got? Yeah, we can use this button shovel for this. Alright, you can... You do it this time. There we go. We possibly have a battle here, here, and... Oh. Yeah, we got a secret room, bitches. Yes, little herbs. You actually get a crazy amount of good stuff from fish carcasses. It's kind of ridiculous. You wouldn't expect that much from a fish carcass, but sometimes it happens. It almost makes me want to like cleanse fish carcasses in real life, but it doesn't seem like a good thing. See Vingro wild Vingroth on the side of the road cleaning fish carcasses with medicinal herbs. Yes, soon it will be clean and I shall get my gems. <laughs> um, that'd be bad. I want to kill this thing real bad. Nice. Not having to worry about the early on is awesome. Debuff the F out of them. Here's the issue. Just to get that extra damage on him, because he will explode after two turns, I'm pretty sure. So we have to make sure to do some damage to him. I just wanted to get the stressor out of the way. Now he'll explode next turn. I was expecting that guard, so I don't care. So I have to make sure that he flat out dies or something. So we're going to play Grenade, just in case we can't quite make the damage. Did he resist? No, he didn't resist. Okay. No, I can't reach him from there. But I can just keep intimidating these guys. Nope, he's going to explode. It's real nasty. It's real nasty. What's his bleed resist? It's really damn high. We're going to stall this fight as long as I can possibly can to get our health back up. Stress might be an issue and it might not actually be worth um, trying to fight the Shambler. I always say we're going to fight the Shambler and then friggin' like what happens next? Fucking crazy bullshit. Like having revenge happen. Gotta keep their accuracy and damage low. Just keep on party healing until everybody's at the top. Stun him as long as I possibly can. More intimidates. Good crit heal. We're almost good, we just have to worry about, um... Yeah, just 
just have to worry about stress at this point. Sweet! Yep, we're all better now. Yeah, it's just stress we have to worry about. That Octocestus is kinda nasty. Definitely dead next turn. This expedition at least promises success. All right, now. We're probably going to go this way first, then that way, have space cleared to get the stuff in the secret room. That's probably how we're going to do it. Damn, we just don't have the shovels to get away with that. As the light gains purchase, I have to make sure we have a, a torch to actually fight the Shambler with, because otherwise it would be bad. <sighs> not quite. She rolled really high, but that's not high enough. And she's going to go insane. Oh, no, she just saved herself. Just saved herself from going insane. I'm gonna blinding gas the back. Good resist. Alright. Might as well. Goody, resist the debuff. Stuff. Kind of disorienting blast to bring him to the front. And can intimidate. We can get two rounds of intimidate on him before he starts attacking. I'm probably going to focus the snail next. Because it's annoying. It's very heavily armored. Which sucks. Resisted Blight as well. What an asshole. Good. Debuff went off. He'll die next turn. We just have to focus on the fish dude. And he's dead. Purge him! Damn. Awesome. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about shovels anymore. Oh, we're continuing to adventure, sir. <laughs> We've got shit to do, things to collect. I've got to keep two shovels. Alright, who's got the best bleed resist? Uh, 100. 70. 95. 90, okay. So, Bakora, open this thing up. Booty! Um, eat the food. Okay, there's nothing in here, but might as well. Go back, grab that chest, come down here, fight the room, and then, uh, yeah. Camp, and then, if, if possible, fight the Shambler. Oh, gosh. The bulwarks of the mind have fallen. Hmm. Nothing. So you know that might be bad. Um. At the very least. Just let shut. Good. Lead resist. At the very least, we will be getting a, uh, a secret room. So we'll get some extra stuff. 
I don't have enough room for that. Yeah, we'll eat. Best I can do. Because I'm not going to waste another tor a torch if we want to try to fight the Shambler. Okay. Gas. Gosh, 15. If you don't debuff them, they're insane. Hey, <laughs> hey, Carrot. Alright, let's see here. Hey, but healed her for 15, so that's a, a nice trade off. Gotta intimidate them, or else they do crazy damage. Yeah, probably blinding gas again. Got the stun on the right guy. Good dodge. That's nasty because he can't go. Good, don't have to worry about the stressor anymore. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to stun and raise the torchlight a bit. Not quite there. Good dodge. Oh, the two? Oh, this is like round, so it's round three right now. Is basically what it's telling you. Intimidate. We have to kill one of them, which is Quickly gonna be a problem. Turns. Yeah, I'm thinking a Shambler fight is not in the cards. We already have one person insane just from general travel. Uh, let's see. Top everybody off. Yeah. Let's see. Cool. I like that. A devastating blow. Awesome. Have to intimidate because that guy hits really hard. Hey, our torch lights up. <laughs> yeah, okay, Carrot. Let's see. Let's get some blight on this guy. Because his protection is pretty nasty. Oh, and he guarded him. Of course he did. Which at this point doesn't matter. Don't stress out my dudes. He's dead next turn. Good dodge. Good, wanted to top off his healing. Let's go for a chop here. Nice. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten.
don't need keys anymore. Oh, uh, we do need keys. Don't need bandages anymore. And let's camp. Gathered close in tenuous fire. Okay, then. On easy companionship. Taking on the Shambler. She's gonna be shuffled around though. Mm. Not a fan of that. We're gonna risk it. If we can get through, maybe we can get away with this. She has more accuracy, she has more accuracy. Will be the best thing to do here. More crit. Probably encourage. Oh, you're. Um, encourage. If we don't get a. Nope, we're attacked. Nope, we're not fighting the Shambler because this battle is going to be head like crazy as is. Yep. We're not fighting the Shambler. Masterfully executed. Because of that, the slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, God, this is awful. We might die because of this, which is honestly the dumbest shit in the world. You know, normally what you do is you have a camp to, to, you know, help you out at the end. And if you rush it and try not to use Sanctuary, then there you go. But I'm just going to take this as a sign that uh, it would have been a terrible idea to do the Shambler fight. And we're just going to accept that. Fucking A. Have mercy on a bitch. Cannot reach him now, which might be an issue. Oh no, I can disorienting blast. The light, the promise of safety. At the very least. Darkness holds dominion. Black as death. There we go. Alrighty. You find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. Alright, that's pretty good. 20,000. Yeah, I would get mad and break my computer if we fought the Shambler. That'd be bad. Bad humors. And Warren's foe. While George got obsessed with killing and Warren's tactician. Compulsive. Fuck. We got some shit to solve. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. Oh, yeah. Creeper is. No, 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 wait. Creeper's. Creeper only goes here for stress relief. Um, I 
No, it wasn't him. Was it Philly? Philly got compulsive, so we're getting rid of that because I hate that. Oh, uh, let's see. Creepers away, but Cora needs to get rid of. It's bad humors. Alright, let's see what we're looking at here. Almost. We are so close to getting the cove complete. Oh, also, we can sell this thing. Yay, more gold. Also, we could probably sell a focus ring because I barely used the other one anyway. Uh, we could probably sell a legendary bracer too. Let's get some gold, shall we? I might keep a second one of those. I barely even use gestures anymore. That should help out a bit. 43,000 just from getting rid of a few things I don't even use. Alright, otherwise, uh, let's just see if we can train a few people. And by train, I mean just in general find people with good stuff and lock it in. there I mean there's some bad stuff there like mankind or fear of mankind is is pretty nasty so like there's there's some bad stuff in that sense but let's see ooh evasive evasive's nice Deadly faded me. Deadly on Isaac. All right. You can only lock in three things. Good to know. Good to know. Lord Nerevar. Interesting. Deadly on a grave robber is very nice. Okay. Um. I don't know. Let's see. What can we work with? We should probably upgrade this guy, because we have kind of held off on that for a while. So that we can have a second leper. There we go. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, what else? Hmm. I want to have fun with this one. We're going to take George Birchie. Let's see. We'll take George Birchie. Quick draw. Alright, so I need someone who basically has the same speed as George Birchie. So let's see. I put someone away, didn't I? Yeah, I put bows away. Who would have been perfect for it? Damn. That's fine. We'll bring Lord Nerevar. Actually, his base speed is higher. Even with quick, quick reflexes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, cool. Also, let's change the uh, outfit a bit. This is George Birchie. 
That's better. And let's see. Probably want to level up some people. Let's get some army guy in there. And a healer. We don't need anything crazy. to again okay so this is the plan uh basically it's 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 the crazy crazy um oh we can also sell this awesome um oh i need a second gunslinger's buckle hmm are we lucky enough to have one being sold no of course we're not um, actually our crests are pretty, eh, you know what, it comes down to it. Let's upgrade it, and upgrade it again. Sold at a profit, of course. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be, um, basically point blank shot shuffling, which I always mm. enjoy. Let's see, we'll do that. And let's see, what would be the best for him... Maybe Ancestor's Candle? Um, we know what to do here. Where the hell's the... Um, oh, did I not... Okay. I don't think we had everything available. <laughs> Actually, probably want to open up with a, a better attack, so let's do this. Alright, so, we have two options here. Actually, one of the... This thing adds two speed, doesn't it? Actually, what's funny is George Birchie and Lord Nerevar both have... Oh, no, wait, he has quick reflexes and he has quick draw. Actually, I think what we'll do here is we'll give him Fuseman's Matchstick. And that way he'll go first always because of quick draw. And we'll give him that. And then Lord Nerevar can have... Let's see. Ancestor's Musket Ball. And... What else would be amazing? We could always ensure that he goes second and go Legendary Bracer. Hmm. We'd take a lot of stress damage though. Maybe we could just go with a Sun Ring instead. Or hell, we're in an Eldritch area, so we could just do Eldritch Slayer's Ring. Which would be damn cool. Alright, so we basically have George Birchie leading uh, with point blank shot, then he attacks with point blank shot. Then we have a Wounding Helmet along with. Why do you have minus dodge? Oh yeah, you're clumsy. I'm gonna have to fix that. And Ancestor's Pen. Because the extra crit is awesome. So I think that'll be pretty good. I will switch... He can't use Uppercut in the third row, so he can use Flashbang. I'm going to enjoy this. This is basically going to be a nice trouncing. And some, you know, gold collection, which is always fun. Cool. And then this should make it so that we can actually fight the um, drowned crew. Recover these lost shipments of rarities that we may prevent them you from mean this falling one? into even less scrupulous hands. You're fucking kidding me. I do everything in my power. What is wrong with you? Oh, Hylomania. Okay. That won't activate with 
more of some of the more important things though, which is all right. Good dodge. Okay. He's nothing to say about it. Nice! I like that. I like that a lot. I think I already have one, but that's, that's a really nice trinket. Alright, let's see how this works out. Wow, you go first? How much? Oh, he has 11 speed. All right, point blank shot. Point blank shot. Advantage. Give them no quarter. Ooh, I just realized an issue here. They're going to keep point blank shotting, and uh, we could do this. I meant to make him get closer. Okay, now I notice that there's immediately a, a very bad situation going on here. Sure, we're going to trounce people, but because corpses are a thing... It's gonna be a pain in the ass. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Surges as the enemy crumbles. Helps too. Can that be your name? I don't know if you can type those characters in Twitch. That'd be cool though. Um, why are you going first? Oh, did I mess up the order somehow? Their That's okay. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. Um, let's see. Wait, you have quick reflexes, not quick draw. You have quick draw. Wait, what? Didn't we ensure that... That didn't... What? I thought he had nine speed. What the hell's that about? I don't fucking know. We got a trap. 110, 135. Medicinal herbs. I'm telling you, man, these fish, they got the goods. Uh, we don't need anti venom. Now that's what should happen. I like that. Oh, what? Fuck off. Good, we got a stun. That's excellent. Do a little bit more damage to it. Because why not? And then we have corpses in the way. Oh boy. This expedition me. at least promises success. All right, let's see here. I definitely want the blasphemous file because we can definitely sell it for a lot. 
Um, don't need busts, really. I mean, we kind of do, but at the same time, we kind of don't. And... I'm just going to go ahead and say that we're probably not going to take those. Wasn't it you first? Because you have quick draw, and then, like, for some reason it messes things up. I think that's how it works. It's a shame none of these... That adds speed, right? I gotta see something here. Oh. The only other thing I could do is give him the plus two, but I think even then it's... Yeah, it's just an awkward situation. As the light gains purchase, Quick draw on, uh, on Highwaymen. You'd think it would actually be clear. helpful, but if you're trying to do the, uh, the swapsy thing, then it's not helpful at all. So, who's the best bleed resist? 60, 90, 60, 80. Goody. Alright, now what do we got here? Oh gosh. It's like a friggin' crab claw. Uh, this is the shortest route. So we'll head that way first. And then see what we can do. Hell, we're almost done. We could just call it, like, hey, like, you know, we're, we're done. <laughs> We've found everything we need to find. We only have one more thing left. I swear. Sometimes, I feel like they know who to go for when it comes to stressing people out. Like, it seems ridiculous. I've had more healers have to do stress relief than not. Fucking really, I, I needed that. Because now you're gonna go insane. Or at least very close to it. The ground quakes. Success so clearly in view. I'm just gonna deal with it. Or is it, it seems like every single mission I seem to have to put someone away recently. I'll just accept that she'll go insane. And they're really hungry. Are you a stress eater? No. Okay. Part of me really wants to do it. Let's make sure she's not crazy first. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. We need as much stress relief as possible. Okay, that's not gonna help if that's the only stress relief I have here. But we can clean guns. Stress resist. And party surprise. Oh, we could give her more stress resist. In Radiance, may we find victory. I 
Okay. Um. <clears throat> I think we can do it. It's the weirdest thing, but I think we can do it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange the party because he's going to rearrange it anyway. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Let's just fucking do it. Secrets and wonders can be found. Ha ha, motherfucker! I know your surprises! Mark him. Resisted the debuff. His stun resist is pretty damn high. I'm just gonna move her back. How quickly the tide turns. This is the shambler. This is the optional boss fight. Boss fight. It's pretty awesome. Um, you know what? I'm actually probably gonna go for constant damage here. They always why? Why even bother at this point? I guess. Madness. Sublimity of the intelligence. It seems so dumb. Like, why don't they stress out other people? Do they have like some crazy internal thing? Like, of course we're gonna attack this person. Uh, now is he gonna be faster? His speed is nine. His speed is eight. So in this case, it's probably better if we do a grape shot blast. Masterfully Good crit for ten. Take that thing out. More damage. Lady withdraw. Good dodge. No clapper claws today, motherfucker. Oh, we got your ass on a noose. Think about happy thoughts like kittens. <laughs> They're doing some excellent dodging. I need to mark him again. Probably gonna party heal. Good party heal. He's he's almost dead. A dizzying blow for body and brain. Just keep summoning more and more dudes. Stress is really gonna get to us at some point. But if we Death can survive this fight, it's gonna be fucking the great. Lightest lapse in concentration. Oh gosh, she's gonna have a heart attack soon. Oh shit. need you to do some crazy fucking damage here. Actually, I need you to mark. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. George Birchie is abusive. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism. Good crit heal. Or cowardice. Good dodge. Oh, 
Holy shit, he's almost dead. Yeah! Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Mm. Suck it. Ancestors map as victories mount. So to resistance. Promise of safety. <gasps> oh, my gosh. We're going to leave. We got an ancestral trinket. There Fuck no it. <laughs> there can be no glory in its accomplishment. Woo! That was crazy. George Birchie gets the Fitz in uh, Cove Adventure. Lord Nerevar gets Eagle Eye. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Holy shit. And Watu gets Calm. You. That is not what you predicted. Trouble yourself not with the cost of this crusade. I do fairly decent with it's those no battles. End you Strangely. In your choice of means. Uh, let's get rid of your disease. And then we basically have to put everybody away for stress relief. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. I had to do it. I, I've, I've been like... We haven't been able to fight a lot of Shambler stuff and it's been making me sad. Alrighty then. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. We could probably get away with a short mission. Um, I don't have the money to really upgrade anybody, so I'll probably go with my tried and true team. Where the hell's Philly the Synth? And who's my cove lady? Sally? Oh, I think it was Watu. Okay. We'll bring Creeper with us. Alright. But hey, we got the Ancestors map. Ooh. Wow, 25% scout chance. That's pretty nice, actually. That'd be good for this team in particular. Uh, if I didn't care about survival, that was. Alright, let's see here. We can also sell one of these. Give us some more health. When am I ever, ever going to have two Vestals needed for healing in the same party? I don't even use these anymore. We're just going to sell one of each. I'll sell one of these. And one of these. I never know when you need two of those. Alright. I think that's pretty good. Alright. Alright. Just wanted to get rid of a few things there because we could make some money. Okay. Standard stuff here. What the hell is that? There it is. And the debuff trinket. And the sun ring, I guess. Be the best for him. Where's the sun ring at? There it is. And she's going to grab the Ancestor Signet Ring. I'm thinking instead we're probably going to just do an Eldritch Slayer's Ring at this point. 
I think that'd be best. I mean, we could give her more crit and more accuracy, but I'd rather just have her do a, a shit ton more damage. Um, I think that'll work. Why chose her damage being 5 to 9 is beyond me. I think someone did get a good thing last time, so I'm gonna see if we can't get something there. Actually, what is, wasn't it one of these people? Yeah, Lord Nerevar got Eagle Eye, which is absolutely fantastic. Alright, but we're ready to go. Let's do a short mission. Short missions suck, but what are you gonna do? Um, bring in all the food, because, well, maybe not all the food. Like, that's fine. And yeah, might as well. I don't like not being able to camp. But what are you gonna do? These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. All right. They must be flushed out. Early riser, natural eye warns explorer. Having her with natural eye, or that's pretty nice. He's really good in the wield. I really need Philly the synth to have more speed, so if we can get that somehow, that'd be fantastic. Deadly. Well, okay. Sure. I guess that helps. I swear, the cove is one of the best, like, curio, um, like, benefits that you can have. Like, there's so many good things in the cove if you have the right trinkets for, or not the trinkets, uh, consumables for them. Alright, this is a pretty nasty business here. Gas. I need a little more damage than that. Wow, really? I kind of needed that to hit. Intimidate. Good dodge. I guess. There we go. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Stuff. Got up a heal. Excellent. Six damage per turn is kind of nasty, though. Good dodge. Keep up the debuff. It's better if we keep her in the same position. Resisted the bleed, okay. Uh, no, it's better if we do heal. That's bad. It's real bad. If we can hit for three, then he's dead. He's dead. Uh, unless he resists, of course. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. There we go. Kind of purge. Do damage to him and then hopefully his guard goes off because I do not want her being alive for any longer than she has to. Unfortunately, I just can't hit her. But I could stun him inadvertently. 
the weirdest way to try to do it, but there you go. Always aiming for the dude with the most stress, right? Why not? Fucking bitch. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. His bleed resistance is pretty high, I'm not even gonna try for it. Really the Eldritch Slayer's ring. Friggin' hey. Almost kicked, uh, clicked the corpse by accident. He's dead now. I was hoping if we went hard on him, that extra six would bring him over. Unforeseen. Sweet. Unforgiving. Wow, a scout. And a really large scout at that. Um. Well, shit. That's not normal. Oh, we can actually heal with some food here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, um, you've Warren's Phobe, Stress Eater, Dark Temptation, and Lighten. Fear of Beasts, Guilty Conscience, Obsessed with Killing. Weak Grip on Life, Zoomania, or Zoophobia. Agophobia, Dark Temptation, Stress Eater, Love Interest. Let's, let's have Creeper get some, like, relief here. He's got a lot wrong with him. There we go. Stress Eater removed. That's good. Friggin' A. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Okay, gosh, it's the same damn clear. thing. Please do like a crit or some nasty bullshit. That was almost there, but not quite. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Because he's got that crazy plus 25% damage bullshit going on. Alright, keep up a debuff. Oh. Good dodge. Sweet. Destroy them all. Fucking really, bitch. I'm gonna disorient her. Get her the hell out of there. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Help a dude out. Hew that bitch. There you go. Show her what's up. Okay, that's kind of nasty. Good. doing damage to him. Uh, let's do a party heal. That's good. Nice crit. We're really not doing good damage. Oh wait, he's got that crazy... Um, yeah, he's got that crazy buff on him that adds like 25% more protection. I forgot about that. That's better. Friggin' A. Yeah, just crit more often. That'd, that'd be really helpful, actually. And he's dead. Interesting. 
Now we're gonna save the last key on the severe off chance that we find a secret room. Ancient traps lie in wait. I'm not gonna take that debuff that early. For blood. Yeah, yeah. More than that. Yeah, it's not that bad. I think that that lady has like a really bad stress uh, thing going on. He's only gonna spear hook me at this point, so I'm actually gonna do a uh, play grenade. Guarantee the kill on that thing. Yeah, because he can only do spear fishing in the last positions. Granted, it could move me, but I think we're okay. Um. I'm gonna... What's his move resist? I'm gonna attempt to purge on this. Nice! Awesome! I was hoping that will work. Do a little extra damage to the fish man. They really like their bleeds. Tetanus? It's an odd thing to get from a snail. Actually, he's dead next turn. Oh, 16. That's super nasty. Um, he resisted. That sucks. His bleed resist is pretty damn high. I'm going to try it. Nice. He protected the snail. But he's dead next turn. Slowly. Gently. Okay, that worked out well. This is how a life is taken. Start stacking blight. Maybe even get a bleed on him? Nah, he resisted. It's really tough to make fish people bleed. We got scales. He's gonna take significantly less damage for like, one more round. Good, 12 damage per round. Go away next turn. Nice crit. Oh, damage. Oh, he's almost dead. It's okay. A trifling victory. Yeah. But a victory, nonetheless. Oh boy! Mm hmm. This is a champion collector. This is going to be a lot more difficult. Good thing I can Iron Swan, though. I'm trying to think what would be better here. What's his stun resist? It is not that high. I can probably get away with this. Nice. It was either that or Stack Blight. Precision. 
explosion and power. Nice. Really? Sorrenting Blast. Nice. buffing that dude, but all he does is buff other people. There we go. He can bleed? He can bleed. I can't hit him, though. Ooh, I can't disorienting blast him. More blights! Protecting him, damn. That sucks. Collect call. Oh, I thought that was gonna be close. She crit healed herself. That's pretty cool. Oh man, he's double buffing himself. What an asshole. I'm gonna break through. A devastating blow. And then we can take the debuff off if necessary. He still has yet to go. I'm gonna kill him. We've been doing a real good job staying on top of clearing these guys. Like, a ridiculous amount. Lifesteal is pretty nasty. Okay. All right. Interesting. Good. He's bleeding. Excellent. He's blighted. Just want to get that guy out of the way because I can't even freaking hit the guy if he's protecting him. He should die from poisony sort of stuff going on. Well struck. She's critting like crazy. How much damage is he gonna take? Twenty. Okay, man, you're screwed. Well, we actually have to hit you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, ho, ho. Um, As victories mount, so too will okay. resistance. That was something. Don't touch the tidal pool. Okay. Well, that's fun. We're just going to move her forward. And I think we can stick with this composition. It's not the best. Actually, we kind of need it to be a little different, but I can't really help the situation. Good stun. I'm gonna hit him while I can, when he's unprotected. I'm gonna rely on my Vestal to do damage to the Tidemaster. Okay, George's going wild, it's gonna go insane. The end approaches. It's been a while since we've had a positive resolve check. A very long time.
I want to keep that guy stunned, because I hate dealing with his bullshit. Good! Don't have to worry about uh, stress dealers now. Well, it doesn't really matter now. He dealt damage to himself. We're going to intimidate, because we need to debuff that guy. His damage is nasty. Also, they all seem to be attacking him, which is awful. Stunning him because I hate the uh, stuff he does. I'm hoping this is the last battle and we can just leave. Because this has gotten real bad real fast. <sighs> Let's see here. Chop him. That's four damage per turn. Nah, yeah, we need more than that. Good resist. I think someone got this. Someone got tetanus. Pain in my balls. Don't move her, please. Fucking ass. I'll take you all out. Uh, he'll die next turn from a bleed. He's not quite there. Now he will be. Then we just have to worry about the snail. a nasty brine, actually. <laughs> Strange. Right. Remind yourself <laughs> that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yep. You will accept my bandages, asshole. Uh, let's see. We're just gonna leave. Some weird shit happened in that very short period of time, and I don't want to test my luck. If indeed there is such a thing. All right, Cora got balanced. Okay, that's that's good. George got ruins explorer. Philly the synth got resolution, and Creeper got tough. Nice, tough is a really nice one, and lethargy. Yay. The degeneracy of the hamlet is nothing, I fear, when compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Damn you, Creeper. There we go, Lethargy. And organize my stress. And let's see. While George... George Birchie, what's with you? You're a gambler. Can we improve this at all? Nope. Okay. So, that's good, I guess. What do we get? Eh. Let's see what we got. Yay! It's finally available! Ooh, more heal heals received. That's good. Alright, what time is it? Alright, so, this is going to be the Drowned Crew. That's weird. This is going to be a very different kind of mission, because it is a boss battle. Um, I treat this one a bit differently because it has such an emphasis on undead. Isaac is coming along because Isaac is... Basically, a, a evil slayer. It's crazy. Like, his friggin' protection HP. Um, if anybody's gonna get anchored, uh, he's gonna be the one to survive it. Uh, we should probably get rid of that. There we go. 
Uh, what else? So we definitely want Isaac in our group. He's going to be basically our tank. Who's the best one for this mission? We're probably going to take the tankiest one, which I think is... Ma Mansell? Yeah, Mansell, who's steady, tough, and has a natural eye. Good stuff. We're definitely going to give her the normal sort of sacred scroll layout. Don't feel like doing anything fancy, really. Um, now, I did have this odd thought that it might be a cool idea to... Um, let me see how viable this would be. Actually, I think Creeper was my melee... Yeah, Creeper was my melee person. But I was thinking of doing a, a melee... Um, thing, because I think... Is it one of these? Yeah, Hand of Light does more damage against Unholy... I think as is, like, it's it already has something minus to it, so it's not the best. Um, yeah, that's alright. This is a funny thought I had. Uh, let's see here. I don't think we have to worry about stuns for the boss. It's unholy, not eldritch, so that's not going to help us. Um, the only thought I had was we could go for, like, a marking sort of situation. So either bring Airborne or... Let's see. Backtracker, Fast Healer, Fear of Eldritch, Claustrophobia. Warrior of Light's nice, but I think... Zali is better for that. Yeah, we're tough and eagle eye. Okay, so we're gonna bring Zalia with us. And I'm, we're probably going to bring Phantom. So I think we'll bring this group with us. So we're going to have uh, marking synergies going on. And I think this is going to work out well for us. Yeah, I think this will work out. So what should Zalia have? Zalia should probably have the Ancestor's Musket Ball. Because the extra crit chance for range skills... Uh, let's see here. I don't know if accuracy is a thing that's going to be super important here. Uh, is his smite the thing that does more damage to unholy? Yeah, it is. So, we're definitely going to give him the unholy slayer's ring. And, let's see. I think he's going to be the slowest in the party and I'd rather not have him be slow, so I'm going to give him Ancestor's Candle to increase his speed by a little bit and give himself more damage. Uh, let's see here. Give him Ancestor's Pen for increased critical chance. And that leaves our Arbalist. In which we could probably give her the Fuseman's Matchstick. Which would increase her ranged crit by an obnoxious degree. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh wait, we have no, we have the necromancer's collar. Shit. Um. Yeah, we're gonna use the necromancer's collar. Twenty percent damage versus unholy, and five percent crit versus unholy. Then we can always use the unholy slayer's ring, but I think in general. Like, probably this is a better setup. I like this. Is there any other trinket I'd think of bringing besides those? Probably not. Ancestor Signet Ring's pretty cool, but... The dude doesn't do a lot of damage. It's just the terrible thing of having some guy locked in place. So I think we should be able to do well with this party. Now, is there any benefit to him being in the second position and not... So he'd do flashbang. Interesting. Now who goes first normally? You have seven speed and... Oh yeah, she's going to have an obnoxious amount of speed. So she will probably mark first. Which isn't terrible, but... Whatever. Alright. Let's do it, I guess. Uh, let me see. Um... You stand tall. 
Zealous Speech. That's good. Uh, Zealous Vigil. Excellent. <laughs> All of his stuff is basically stress relief, which is pretty strange. Uh, let's see. Plan Takedown. Um, actually, the thing's size 3, so that won't actually help us. So accuracy and crit will probably be the best thing for him. She has her stuff, and she has her stuff, so we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to want to take a few more holy water. Definitely want some of these because the ukas um, won't take as many of those. Oops. Don't need as many of those. We'll need more food, actually. It is a champion mission, so I will take all the food. I think we're good with that. While the greedy dogs slept off their revelry, I hexed their anchor with every twisted incantation I could muster, imbuing it with the weight of my ambition and my contempt for their crude extortion. At the witching hour, the anchor pulled with preternatural force, dragging craft and crew down into the depths. They must have cried out. But no sound escaped the swirling black waters. Yeah, our ancestors are pretty badass. The poor devils. Chained it's over there. And drowning for eternity. Alright, well, who needs some cool shit? Oh, apparently you. Lurker. At least we locked in all the good things with her, so it doesn't matter. Was that enlightened? Or... Experiences... Ah, uh, Hero Mania. Okay. Another mariner. Another misfortune. I'm hoping we'll... This isn't terrible. Probably zealous accusation. You're fucking really, mate? Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Thou art judged. Gosh, my dodge end speed. A singular strike. She's basically gonna dodge every other second. Oh, let's see here. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Wow, that sucks. Give them no quarter. Her crit is 20%. That's pretty nice. Why do you have no dodge? Oh, oh. It's because of, um, that. Okay. Good dodge. Good dodge. Ha ha ha! It doesn't actually matter if she moves forward, because she can at least move to the third position. Oh, are we just like slow motherfuckers? I want to make sure that thing dies.
It's gonna do damage to both. I could stun him. Maybe. Sweet. Oh, fuck off. Really? Oh, that's a nasty debuff. Damn. Confidence nice. As the enemy crumbles. Okay, that's bad. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. A powerful blow. There we go. Good dodge. I'm surprised the amount of dodge this guy has. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Uh, I'm gonna have him eat some food. Oh gosh, we have to bring up our torch light. Oh, thank goodness. Actually, do we? Yeah, for him. That sucks. A devastating she world. crits basically every single time. It's beautiful. There we go, that's better. Good resists. Please don't. Oh my shit. Oh my god. Can we get a heal, lady? I'm gonna stall this. Masterfully executed. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Good dodge. All right, who's got the worst of it? Fear of beasts, egomania, enlightened, known cheat. Oh my gosh, we have to get rid of that. Holy shit, he takes more stress damage when the torch is above a certain amount. Um, please get rid of that. Nope, he only got rid of known cheat. Damn. I had no idea he had such a bad quirk on him. Alright. Interesting stuff. is clear. You require only the strength to follow it. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Okay, hit the guy in the middle. Stop. 
done. Sweet. That dodge sucks. It's okay, she has the most stress resist in the party, I'm pretty sure. But you know, that sucks. Do it again. And creep, keep critting him too, that's always good. Uh, I can't actually hit him. I can try this though. Nope, he resisted both. Okay, this is where shit gets real bad. He resisted both. Thank goodness. There we go. Now I just have to worry about him. Gonna mark him. Good. And just start firing away. That's real nasty. Oh my gosh, that crit for 42. Oh, come on. If you knock her back, I'm not going to be opposed to it, but okay. Fine. There we go. Alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. That worked out well. I didn't even get in a, a bad arterial pinch. All right, what do we got? One shovel left. Oh shit! I only have one shovel. All right, who's got the best bleed resist? Ninety. 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 And ninety. Well then, hidden treasures. Woo! Alright, we're getting rid of this this horrible quirk that you have. Literally the only thing left. Don't even need deeds. Get them out of my inventory. I love how like we we needed deeds so badly and now they're coming to us and like we need everything else now. Waiting to kill that thing right away, because that's definitely been a party wipe and a half for us in the past. As much as I'd really just like to do some fancy shit here, I just gotta get rid of it. Can't kill that thing as fast as possible, because that does the most damage. Do left damage to him. Especially since he's gonna fucking put call the deep on him. Okay, it could have been worse. Had to be an ass hat. Gosh. That'll get him. Best thing to do here would probably be mark him, get rid of his protection if at all possible. Nah, he resisted. Uh, we're gonna do this to switch some people around. Wow, okay, and a crit's nice. I was not expecting that. I guess do extra damage to him is all we can do at this point. Ooh, I could do this! That would do it. I need it a little bit better than that. There we go. Damn, Zally got doing some 
Cool shit. Alright. Oh, I can't reach him. He has some really high move resist. There we go. Friggin' A. Be wary. Um, Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so we got some nastiness coming up to the boss, which is not cool. Oh gosh, especially this orientation of motherfuckers. Holy shit. I'm just gonna try for stunning here. Let's see if we can get one extra turn out of this. Thank goodness. Maybe it was suppressing fire. Was it minus 10 accuracy and 10 crit? It's not good enough though. Okay. One of them's gone. Two of them are stunned. That's a good thing. Keeping up on heals is very difficult in this situation. Please don't move her forward. Shit. She can still party heal from that position, but it's definitely awkward. Alright, can we stop having you guys, like, go twice? It's kind of fucked up. I can't wait to restring her crossbow. It's gonna be obnoxious. Let's get him out of the way. Party heal. Yes, please bring him forward. Damn. Really? Gosh, that's like all of her health. As victories mount, so like the too emeralds. will resistance. Let's give her some food. Move her back. Probably give her one more food. Oh, we know it's coming up, so we don't need shovels. There we go. Take the emeralds, and we don't need the rest of it. You're getting rid of this quirk now. There we go. Now he won't take undue stress. A blazing star is born. Ooh, nice. We can actually use our stuff to boost our damage. Not by a ton, but by a decent amount. Of course. Attack the guy who has the most stress already. That only makes sense. Picture. Need to start party healing. Everybody's a little low on health. There we go. Please don't. Good. Actually, having them all the way over there is really helpful for us. Okay, good. 
Wow, 43 crit. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Uh, well, we're gonna rest here. I'm gonna go for safety. Huddled together, furtive okay. and vulnerable. So, rats in a maze. Definitely want to restring crossbow. Because that's an amazing ability. Uh, let's see. What's better here? We have two ways to do it. We can do Sanctuary. Sanctuary is not going to help us as much as this. It's a tough one to say, really. We definitely want... This is how we do it. Because we need them to have more accuracy and crit. Uh, I almost want... No, we can't do that. Then we're going to get rid of his bleed. There. In Radiance, may we find victory. Then, who needs more damage? Him or him? Okay. There he is. 18% more damage for the next fights. That uses shovels, but actually, you can take a look at it. Are we good? Huh. That's okay. The light. The promise of safety. Okay. Good. Excellent. Mark him. Stun him? Good. This is a nasty battle to have right before the boss. Definitely want to get rid of him as soon as possible. Please don't spearfish her again. Wow. Fuck off. I got attempted again because we got some recovering to do. Nope. Gonna switch her back. Please don't. Blurred vision. The end Good. approaches. I need to heal my Vestal. The bigger the beast, the well, there greater we go. the glory. Uh, sure. All right, max As light. The light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. Buff them all before and they go in. Made clear. And make sure that they are topped off for food slash healing. And that's fine, I think. Oh wait, we can actually get rid of that. Haha! All right, let's go. This is the drowned crew. Even in death, the captain shouts his orders, and the crew obeys. Thank goodness, she's actually the worst person that could happen to. Definitely mark him. Good resist. Excellent. That's the guy you're gonna get. That's absolutely fine. Ooh, we might be able to out damage him. This would be kind of cool. Or we could just flat out kill him. That'd be fun. Resist, resist. 
Yes. 65 crit! Zeliagoth! Oh, holy shit! It's incredible! Oh, wait, he's not uh, marked anymore. We gotta remedy that. There we go. Might as well. He heals to full anyway, so... I don't see the reason. Oh my gosh, we own this guy. Holy shit. The move resist is what's helping us. If if they if they had moved like Zaligoth up forward, it would have been terrible. He heals to full when he does that, so I didn't see the reason to, to add anything to that. It's a nasty boarding clutch, actually. Okay. Suck on that. What the f fuck? Alright, 41 crit. The mark, I guess he has two turns. So, like, you have to get him in that span of time, and if you don't, it's just too bad. It's pretty. I hate that, though. I mean, like, he's just marking. Ooh, I like that minus protection. Resist it, resist it, resist it. Nice. Holy shit. Oh! To float forever, deep in the swirling blackness, far beyond the lights. Fuck yeah. That's how you do it. I got driven from this land achievement. Hell to the yes. All right, Zeligoth. Fear of the unholy. Well, after that experience, I can kind of understand that. And Ruins Explorer. And Isaac got Flawed Release, which is not a problem. Because he has no range abilities. In time, you will know the tragic that was extent awesome. of my failings. All right, let's make sure that Mansell gets bad humors taken away, because that's awful. Um... How's everybody stress-wise? Bakora is a little stressing out. Let's help her out a bit. And otherwise, next time, we'll be heading to the darkest dungeon. Because we have defeated all the bosses. We have all of the legendary items. Well, not, I mean, I guess, are these, le I guess they're trophy items, technically. But we have all the trophy items, because we've killed all the bosses. Which is awesome. So yeah, uh, next time we're going to go to the Darkest Dungeon. Um, I have very little experience in the dark Darkest Dungeon, but I assume killing one shuffling horror is going to be a little weird. So yeah, um, we'll be back next time with our first, you know, actual escapade in the Darkest Dungeon. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Alright, see everybody.